conoce muy bien a Mika. Que limpia, Barbie girl. Este debe ser su gatita Mika. Barbie, lo que quiero ser hoy. Hello doll fans and welcome back to Beauty Inside a Box. Today we are talking about an iconic character in the Barbie line. Ding! Teresa! Oh my goodness, I love Teresa. She is such an incredible Barbie character. This has become a little bit of a series on my channel where we talk about characters in the Barbie line and go through their entire history, all the ups and downs, and see where they are today. I will put a link in the description to the playlist which has all of these videos on. So far we've spoken about Ken and Midge and Christy and today we're talking about Teresa. At the time of filming this video it is 2023 and Teresa is turning 35 this year. Doesn't she look amazing for 35? What's your skincare routine? Anyway, if you love dolls as much as I do, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Also check me out on Instagram and TikTok. And anyway, let's talk about Teresa. Ah. Teresa was originally introduced in 1988 to the Barbie line, which is quite recent compared to some of Barbie's other friends. But Teresa has managed to become one of Barbie's most beloved and frequently featured friends. Supposedly Teresa's surname is Rivera, although I couldn't actually find any evidence of this. Teresa brought some Latin American representation to the Barbie line, but she wasn't the first time that Latina or Hispanic Barbies had appeared in the doll line. A couple times before, Mattel had featured Hispanic dolls, but they would normally only create one doll a year. Similar to the first black Barbie, a Hispanic Barbie was released in 1980, and she used the Steffi face mold. Hispanic Barbie wouldn't get her own unique face mold until 1982. And she was a Hispanic version of the Sensations doll, and she also came out alongside a Hispanic Ken. They both had face molds that were created specifically for them. These face molds were introduced as the Hispanic version of Barbie and Ken, but after this they would more often be used for the black Ken and Barbie. In 1983, a Hispanic twirly curls Barbie was released. In 1984, Sun Gold Hispanic Barbie was released. In 1985, a Day to Night Hispanic Barbie was released. In 1986, Dream Glow Hispanic Barbie was released. And 1986 got two Hispanic Barbies and Tropical Hispanic Barbie. I have to say, Dream Glow Hispanic Barbie is stunning. I love this doll. In 1987, My First Ballerina Hispanic Barbie was released. Which brings us to 1988, when Teresa was first introduced as part of the California Dreams Barbie line. I was intrigued by the fact that Teresa doesn't appear in any of the Barbie California Dreams commercials, and then I realised that she was actually a later addition into the line, as you can see here on the back of the box, it says Teresa coming soon. At the beginning, it was kind of unclear whether Teresa was Latina or Italian, but later it would become clearer that she was definitely meant to be a Latina, with her even having her own quinceañera doll. A quinceañera is a milestone celebrated throughout Latin America for girls' 15th birthday. In the California Dreams line, Teresa wears this amazing yellow and white spotty and striped outfit. I love the like rah-rah skirt with all the ruffles. Very 80s. She even has like a very 80s visor and a frisbee. I would love to own this doll, but I believe she's very expensive online. <laughs> this was a kind of iconic line for Barbie as well because it reintroduced Midge, as well as giving Christy her very own face mold. Originally, Teresa used the Hispanic Barbie face mold, and she would continue to use this face mold until the end of 1989, and since then, the face mold has never been used again. But what is Teresa like? What is her personality? Well, let me tell you. In the Barbie Cali Girl Beach Blast online game, Teresa describes herself by saying, My gang tells me I'm thoughtful, generous, I really like helping a friend with a problem, or a stray pet that needs a home. My saying is care about others as much as yourself. Love that. Words of wisdom. Can Teresa be my life coach, please? <laughs> 
A love for baking and science also seem to be common characteristics of Teresa. According to Teresa's Bee Friends profile, which was part of the Barbie Girls, like, online world. <laughs> Do you guys remember that website? What a time to be alive. Anyway, according to her profile, she has made 3,120 cupcakes to date. She has also rescued 36 stray animals. A heart of gold. In the 2010s, Teresa would become a lot more silly and ditzy, but we'll get to that anyway. We can assume that the Teresa doll was a big success because after the California Dreams line, she was included in a lot of Barbie lines, soon surpassing Christy as Barbie's most featured friend. I'm sure Christy feels some kind of way about that. <laughs> she appeared in the lines Island Fun Barbie, Beach Blast Barbie, and Cool Times Barbie, without much of a change in her appearance. Then, in 1989, Teresa was given the Steffi face mould, and oh my goodness, this face mould has been used so many times. It's been used by Barbie, and Midge, and Christy, and Teresa, and like so many of Barbie's friends and family members. Anyway, Teresa used the Steffi face mould for All Stars Tennis Teresa, Wet n Wild Teresa, Light and Lace Teresa, and All American Teresa. These, like, late 80s, early 90s titles for the dolls are so iconic. Then, in 1991, Teresa finally got her own face mould. And this face mould is probably the one that most millennials will remember. It's the one that was used for the longest amount of time, and it's just so iconic. To me, this is Teresa's face. Unfortunately, one of the very first dolls to use this new face mould was recalled because it was a fire hazard. Not good. <laughs> the rollerblading Barbie line included Barbie and Teresa as well as Ken, Kira and Christy. The dolls had rollerblades. The dolls had rollerblades on that would spark. Spark like real sparks when you rolled them across a hard surface. And I don't know who signed off on this, but like, of course that's a fire hazard. Normally, the doll was pretty harmless, but when two kids were playing with the dolls and using hairspray at the same time, the hairspray ignited, thanks to the rollerblades, and started a small fire. Luckily, no one was hurt, but after this, the dolls had to be recalled. Here are some of my other favourite Teresa dolls from the 90s. From all time, to be honest. Love the bright colours, love the hairstyles, slay. Teresa also had a couple dolls released which celebrated her Latina culture. Like Fantasticia Barbie from 1992. Annoyingly, this doll is called Barbie on the box even though she is clearly Teresa. She has the same face mould and hair colour and skin colour. Mattel also made Festiva Barbie from 1993. Again, this is definitely actually a Teresa doll. Like, they have the same face mould again, but they've called it a Barbie here, anyway. And of course, in 1994, Teresa celebrated her quinceañera. And this time, she is actually Teresa, like it says Teresa on the box, thank goodness. In June of 1998, a special Celestial Star Teresa doll was made to be sold at a mini convention in Southern California. Only 250 were produced. This doll is so stunning and I would love to own one, but she's incredibly rare. This soccer or football Teresa doll from 1998 kind of looks like she's playing for Brazil which is also a Latin American country, even though they speak Portuguese and not Spanish. In 1999, Teresa celebrated the upcoming new millennium as part of the Millennium Princess collector line. I love this doll. I'd love to own her. I have the Barbie in the line, but not the Teresa. In the year 2000, the Hollywood Nails line of Barbie dolls was advertised as being the first Barbie doll of the new millennium, but the original promotional images had Teresa with a very unfortunate looking fringe. Ew! It kind of looks like Courtney Cox in Scream 3. It's like up here. It's, it's not a good look. Very of its time. Luckily, the fringe was made longer before the doll was mass produced and sold. They nearly did my girl Teresa very dirty. 
Here are some of my favourite Teresa dolls from the 2000s. In 2001, the Barbie direct-to-video movie franchise would begin, and Teresa would have a small role in the third film, Barbie of Swan Lake. But it wasn't until 2008 in the Barbie film Barbie in the Diamond Castle that Teresa would get a proper leading role. Apparently, the film was released to celebrate 20 years of friendship between Barbie and Teresa, although I couldn't find any evidence of that anywhere. Celebrating Barbie and Teresa's friendship. Let's all be honest, they're lesbian lovers in this film, and I love that for them. Conveniently, Barbie and Ken were actually broken up at this time. I'm just saying. And Teresa hasn't really had any other love interests to speak of, so... This was the first Barbie movie in which Teresa was a co-lead with Barbie. In the film, she loves music and has a silly sense of humour. This silliness would become a more and more prominent part of Teresa's personality in future Barbie media. For the Diamond Castle dolls, Teresa would use Summer's face mould. In 2007, Teresa would be given a brand new face mould which was made specifically for her. It looked a little bit younger. I don't really like this face mould, and luckily it was only used for a year. By the end of 2007, they completely retired this face mould for Teresa. After this, for a really long time, Teresa would just use Summer's face mould. In 2012, Barbie Life in the Dream House started, an iconic, iconic show. I made a whole video about it, so if you want to go and check that out, I'll put a link on the screen. But anyway, Teresa was of course one of the main characters in the show. In this interpretation, she was a lot more wacky, with lots of her jokes coming from her taking things way too literally or misunderstanding things. She was quite ditzy. <sighs> Gotta breathe. Oh, I forgot how to breathe. Wait, there it is. <sighs> <laughs> but she still had a passion for baking, and she was a fashion designer, which was really cute. The dolls would give her a slightly more expressive, cartoony looking face to match the animation style. After 2010, Teresa would appear as herself in most of the Barbie movies, including Barbie A Fashion Fairy Tale, Barbie Spy Squad, Barbie Video Game Hero, among others. In 2017, a brand new quinceañera Teresa doll would be released with the classic 90s face mould. Love that reference to the past. Work. Barbie Dreamhouse Adventures, which was kind of like a spiritual successor to Life in the Dreamhouse, was released in 2018. This was a series of short episodes and Teresa would appear again as one of Barbie's best friends. This time, Teresa was a straight A student as well as a singer, songwriter, and a gymnast. After appearing in Dreamhouse Adventures, Teresa would be given the shorter body mold for most of the Playline dolls. She also got her own brand new face mold, which was originally released in 2015 for the Barbie style glam night Teresa doll. A couple tennis playing dolls were released in recent years that used the 90s Teresa face mould, and fans speculate that this is actually meant to be Teresa, and I wonder if these tennis dolls are paying tribute to Teresa's first ever career as a tennis player as part of the All-Star line. This year, a special 35th anniversary Teresa doll was released, and she's wearing similar patterns and colours to her original doll. I love this doll, I'd love to own her. I think it's a shame that they didn't use the classic 90s Teresa face mould for this doll, but she's still iconic. And I'm really glad that Barbie and Mattel are paying tribute to their history and the different characters in the Barbie line. Ah, uh, I love Teresa so much. So that was her whole history. Please let me know what you think of Teresa in the comments down below. And also don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Check out some more of my videos. Check me out on Instagram and TikTok. And I will see you real soon, doll fans. Mwah. <laughs>